this sea lion has been poisoned by toxic algae. Dead or sick animals like this have been washing up on California's beaches at a record rate after a toxic algae bloom appeared in the Pacific Ocean in early June. The microscopic algae produce a neurotoxin that's potentially fatal to animals, and the spread appears to be ramping up in what experts say is an ecological emergency. The Marine Mammal Care Center in LA has been rescuing and caring for the infected animals, but it's quickly becoming overwhelmed. John Warner is the CEO. So our first animals with domoic acid came in roughly three weeks ago. Um, started uh, as a trickle. In the first week, we had 12 animals. Then in the next week, we were up to 60 plus animals. So it happened relatively quick. Warner says the animals are being infected through the food chain. Sea lions and dolphins eat smaller fish that have ingested the algae. Veterinarian Lauren Palmer has been treating infected sea lions. So the symptoms are quite disturbing. Uh, because the animal is not acting normally. So they'll come out of the water and sometimes they just sit in one place and they don't really respond to what's around them. If they might be seizing, they might be drooling, um, gazing up at the stars in the sky, uh, just not acting normally. Palmer says alongside epileptic drugs to help control seizing, hydration is key. The toxin is water soluble, so they hope that keeping the animals hydrated will help flush it out. This animal here is an adult female who gave birth to this little pup that you see on Hermosa Beach just yesterday. Uh, the mom and the pup got a little bit separated. The mom was having seizures at the waterline. The pup was on the beach. Our rescuers brought her in yesterday afternoon. She's now resting, um, being given fluids. The pup uh, has been nursing and is also uh, getting rest. And again, the prognosis should be quite positive once the animal gets through this. Uh, so another 30 to 60 days for both mom and pup. Hopefully they'll be able to return to their ocean home. That's our ultimate goal with all of these animals.